I went to Cancun, Mexico, expecting to have a nice, relaxing time, until I noticed this sign referencing my arch nemesis, Las Vegas. And that's when all hell broke loose, as I clearly had to patronize any business that advertises being better than Las Vegas, which is not saying much. I partied on the beach and in nightclubs for 14 hours straight, two days in a row, all with unlimited drinks and everything cost under what only one bottle of alcohol would cost at a Las Vegas club. Cancun puts Las Vegas nightlife to shame. I'm talking, of course, about the Coco Bongo Show and Disco, located in the hotel zone of Cancun. This whole thing started with this oddly placed beach party in the middle of a shopping mall in Cancun, but this nice lady said it was all you can drink from one to six for $55 US. So I of course got there at 12.59 only to find these drinks were incredibly small and there was a huge line to get more of them. So I just kind of chilled out and watched the World Cup until I realized I was in for a lot more than free drinks. At first I thought this place was under construction due to this huge crane being there until I noticed its sole purpose was to hoist the performers above the stage and drop them into the pool. And when I thought that was the standalone highlight, they kept doing it every hour with different costumes and performances. Also increasing every hour was the number of drunk people in the swimming pool. And when it gets too crowded, they just spray foam in everyone's drink, forcing them to go to the nearest bar. And you're right next to the beach if for whatever reason you get tired of staring at the entertainment. There is a second floor, but it appeared to be off limits, but that of course didn't stop me from doing some trespassing to get this footage. In the middle of it, they offer 20% off all bottles, which certainly got this guy excited. Here's what I look like when I film these things. I try to look as poor and disheveled as possible so no one tries to steal from me. So overall, this was a great time and everyone had fun, except for one guy who I saw three security people escort out. He was probably too drunk or something. After that, I went to Senor Frogs to get dinner, but I was still missing the Coco Bongo and decided to go back to see what else they offered for the actual nightlife. The line to get in was absolutely insane, but don't worry, this guy was walking around handing out all these free shots to people waiting. I signed up for the Bongo Tour, which was a bar crawl between the Bongo Bar, another bar, and back to the nightclub. By this point, I had so many bracelets it looks like I just got out of the hospital, which shouldn't surprise anyone as there's an ambulance on permanent standby right outside of the club. Our tour guide was super cool and managed to stop traffic as we proceeded to the next bar. He also kept feeding me unlimited drinks. After that, it's showtime at the Coco Bongo for the main event. The seats they give you with the tour aren't very good, but I managed to do some trespassing into the premium seating area to get this footage. They just keep doing these performances one after the other, like every five minutes. It's insane the amount of creativity these people have. At around 1 or 2 a.m. the performances stop and you just have a bunch of drunk people dancing on stage to loud music. They start kicking you out at around 2.45. I think it technically closes at 3 o'clock in the morning. So I got a little bit of sleep and woke up the next day hoping to have a nice relaxing day. Until my tour guide texted me telling me that the tour I purchased also includes the beach party yet again. So as I'm not one for wasting money, I had to go all the way back to the beach party from 1 to 6 p.m. as it was included with the bongo tour. I was surprised when I got there that they didn't just repeat the same acts. So they were doing a couple different things like drinking games and other activities. I got a little embarrassed though when the staff recognized me and asked what I was doing there two days in a row. But it was mostly the same and I did like how they switched up a few performances. Another thing that was different is since I was with the tour, you have a designated tour guide who can get you drinks from the bar without having to wait in line. This guy Gabriel, who was my tour guide, kept watching me and as soon as I finished my drink, he showed up out of left field with a new one in his hand and just gave it to me. There's also armed security with these guns who will shoot you shots if you're too rowdy. And the pink foam got a little bit out of control. It spilled over onto the patio, leaving a red stain on the concrete resembling a crime scene of fun. And the champagne bear was back again. Do yourself a favor and if you wanna buy bottle service here, wait until they offer 20% off. It's usually like two or three hours into the event. That wrapped up at six. And then I went back to the Coco Bongo to see what regular seating was like at nighttime. It cost me 90 bucks to go from eight to three in the morning. And seating is an overstatement. If you just get the regular fare, you're forced to stand the whole time. You have to pay them an extra 50 bucks or something to be able to sit down. But it was more of the same. And they did have some new acts I didn't see the previous night. It looks like half of them were repeats, half of them were different ones, which was good. I'm glad they just don't regurgitate the same stuff every single night. So to recap, I spent 55 bucks on the pool party, 120 on that tour, which also included the pool party, and 90 bucks just for the nightclub on my last night. Overall, it's an incredible value. You get unlimited drinks and entertainment. I cannot recommend this place enough. 
Do yourself a favor and skip Las Vegas. Come to Coco Bongo Cancun instead. Thanks for watching until the end.